Fact of the day. Fact of the day. Hello, hi, and welcome to Fact of the Day with me, Mark Lossu. Gravitational waves. About three billion years ago, if you're travelling at the speed of light, there was a collision between two massive objects. Two black holes. One was 31 times the size of our sun, 31 solar masses. The other was 19 solar masses. Massive. They collided and they formed an object which was less than 49 solar masses. Now, the more astute mathematicians amongst you will be thinking, hmm, that's 50 and there's way less than 49. So where did this almost two solar masses of energy go to? It didn't come out as light because no light was detected, but what we did detect was a gravitational wave. And this isn't the first time it's happened. This has happened twice before, once in September 2015, and the other in December 2015. These are detected by machines called LIGOs. LIGO stands for Laser Infrometer Gravitational Wave Observatory. So there are two of these, one in Washington State and one in Louisiana, now about three milliseconds apart. So what happens is one detects it, the other detects it, and then they go, hey, did you check something? Yeah, did you? Yeah, oh my goodness, it must have been a gravitational wave that we detected, but we don't know where it came from because you need three source information to be able to triangulate it. So they've now got a third one, which is in Virgo, in the Pizza province in Italy, and now they can start to triangulate where they're coming from. Hopefully if it's ever working, fingers crossed. Michael Landry from the LIGO lab in Washington State he said, these are the most powerful astronomical events witnessed by human beings. And in this case, he said, twice the mass of the sun was converted into deformations in the shape of space. Just get your head around that. Amazing, right? And this happened in a very, very short period of time. Now, Einstein's theory said that you can't get any sort of dispersion of gravitational waves. And just by detecting these gravitational waves, this helped to reinforce that theory. So you keep on doing it, Einstein well, you're like, your theories are still going on strong, buddy, okay? Now, sad news, but kind of nice news, is on December the 4th, when this third one was detected, a guy called Heinz Billing, who's a German physicist, and he built one of the first prototype laser inferomic gravitational wave detectors. He passed away. So as the gravitational wave hit the Earth, he passed away. It's kind of like a nice little thing to happen, I guess, maybe. I think so. So that is gravitational waves. Thanks for watching. Love you, bye. Love you, bye. Love you, bye.